Hi, in this video we're going to find a very simple derivative. We have big F of x equal to x times the cosine of x, and we're going to find the derivative of this function, big F of x. Notice we actually have a product here. We have x times the cosine of x. So you have two functions and they're being multiplied. Whenever you have something like this, you can use what's called the product rule from calculus. And the product rule is pretty useful. It basically says if you have a function f, and let's say a function g, and you take the derivative, that's what this prime symbol means. It means take the derivative of whatever's in the parentheses. So we're taking the derivative of f times g. Here it's x times cosine x. So this is our f, and this is our g. And so the formula says, well, think of f as your first function, and g as your second function. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second function. And the reason I say, you know, the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second is because in actual problems you don't have f and g, but you do have the first and the second, so it makes it a little bit easier to think about in your mind. So if we apply this formula to our function big F, so big F prime of x is equal to, so applying it here we take the derivative of the first, which is just going to be the derivative of x, which is 1, times the second, which is cosine x, plus the first, which is just x, times the derivative of cosine. But now the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this is parentheses negative sine x. So big F prime of x is equal to cosine x. And then here what we can do, see how there's a plus sign here, and this is being multiplied by all of this? When you multiply these, you really get negative x sine x. So you can just put the negative here, and then here we have x sine x. And so that would be big F prime. That would be the derivative of big F. So hopefully this video has helped you, and maybe uh, it has. And this is called the product rule, and it's something that you learn in calculus. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.